welcome to Lovely Paper Crafters. I'm Melissa Monty Belafonte. Um, and sorry for the delay last night. I usually do my card classes on Friday night, but I wasn't feeling the greatest last night. Um, so here's hoping I don't start um, getting wheezy through this. Um, I have really bad asthma, um, and I usually diabetics do have asthma. Um, and I have allergies really bad, so here's hoping, um, and a sinus infection, so here's hoping I get through the class without too many disruptions. I have a warm, uh, coffee beside me, so hopefully that will help. Anyways, today we're going to make, um, the, using the Walk in the Woods, um, stamp set. We're going to make this card, and then at the end of the, I'm, end of a, when I'm done making the card, I'm going to show you my new products from my mini catalog. So that's the Christmas and Halloween catalog that comes out. Um, so that will be coming out in August. Um, so I just wanted to show you a few products that I have and because um, I'm super excited about that. Um, so today we're going to be using for this card the Walk in the Woods um, stamp set. Um, and it's super cute. I just, I really like it. Anything with um, camping, I really like. Um, we've camped, we've been in a trailer for, since I was seven years old. So um, we've tr um, went to Sobble Beach every summer. Um, so anything dealing with like woods or being out at Sobble Beach, I really like uh, beach type of things and um, anything nature wise. Um, but yeah, we've been camping since I was seven years old. Well, actually before. When I was two, we started camping. When I was seven, we got a trailer, and um, my parents have been spending the summers up there ever since. Hi, Jane. Um, so, yeah, so that's why I really love this set. It's super cute. So what we're going to do is watercolor. So I have, this is my first time doing watercolor. I don't do watercolor very well. Um, I like oils. I have, like, oil painting, <laughs> and I'm really good at oil painting, um, but watercolors is not my thing. So here's hoping I can copy the first card. Um, so I'm just going to pull you down here, and then we're going to start by stamping our images onto our watercolor paper. So what colors I'm using is I'm going to use Early Espresso. So Early Espresso is going to be the base for the stamp. So we're not going to use black with them. We're going to use um, a color, and then I'm going to... And so it looks more realistic. So what you're going to do is we're going to stamp him right down at the bottom. Leave a little bit of a space. Here's hoping that's coming. That's really hard to see. Um, so let me see if I can shut my curtains and you can see a little bit better. Alright. There we go. Now we can see a little bit better. Um, so that's the little, and it's really, really light. So he's not, um, I didn't do it with black because it shows up too much. And I don't, I want us to make him look real. So we've used um, early espresso. And then we're going to stamp um, the, <laughs> always love when those get stuck on there, um, the mushrooms also with early espresso and just make sure it's all covered and then you're going to stamp down so just right beside him so that's how it will look okay and then the next part is we're going to take the um, shaded spruce and we're going to take um, this one says, wishing you every kind of wonderful. So I thought that was really cute. And so just, we're going to stamp that right on at the top of the paper. And I totally forgot to show you. Um, so today we're going to be using um, watercolor paper. And I'm going to show you what page that's on. So just get, let me get my book out here. So the watercolor paper is on page 
so it's right here. Oops. I don't know if you can see this way. Should have done this beforehand. <laughs> so it's right at the top of the page there on one, uh, one. So you can't really see it. It's just white paper. So that's that. And then the other thing we're going to use today is on page 146, and it's our. It's called the. I don't know the new name. Water water painters. So they've gotten rid of the old um, watercolor pa um, watercolor uh, things that we used to use, and they brought in these new ones. So these are the ones that we're going to use today. So I just wanted to tell you about that. And like I said, that is on page 140. Nope, 146. In the de um, description of it, it's on 147. Alrighty, so let's get started with coloring in. So what you're going to need for colors is you're going to need your early espresso. So how you get the color on these is you take your early espresso and you squeeze it. And then once you squeeze it, you'll have a little bit of a puddle. And so we're going to leave the puddle. And we're going to do the same to the shaded spruce. And you're going to get all of your colors out at one time. Just watch that you know which colors they are. Because once you start putting the red where the green is supposed to be, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So there's that. And I'm just going to spread them out here on my table. Oops. I'm not throw my card across the floor. So that's our card. See if I can get all of them out on. So the next color is real red. Like I said, get them all ready for you so you can start stamping. I'm just going to put our the images that we stamped away. Uh, the stamps away just so I don't get my hand in the brown. And then we have crumb cake. So we're going to squeeze that. Yeah, Jane, aqua painters are um, aqua painters are gone. So these are the new ones. Okay, the next color is Sahara sand, and then we're going to keep our memento because I'm going to use that for his little nose when we're done. But we're going to do that separate. Okay, so what we're going to start with first is we're going to actually do these red. So we're going to do those red first. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take our smallest tip brush. So it looks like that. And what you're going to do is you are going to squeeze a little bit of water just to get it wet. So you don't, you then you're just going to... You can't see that. There we go. And you're just going to put it in there. So you just squeeze out a little bit of water just to get it wet. And try to get a consistency that's not too wet because we want to see those red mushrooms. So you're just going to color those in. What's nice about this is they're, they each, um, each of these painters are different, different um, width, so it's kind of cool. I'll show you when I do the grass how we use the other color and it will, or the other width of the brush and it will show up differently and you'll get different strokes with it so it's really really cool I really really like these brushes and 
And these do take a lot, a, lot, a li little bit longer for me because I am, like I said, I don't do watercolor very often. I'm actually, I actually use my um, Stampin' Blends more often. And that's because I used to do graphic arts when I was in school. So we learned how to um, use pens and pencil crayons before everything else came out with different other different things. So you're just going to wash off your pen. So the red is going to sit for a minute and we're going to put that away because we don't need any more red on our card. So that was the real red. I'm going to just put that away. And then the next color we're going to do is I believe I, so just wash off your brush with just at the side of your paper. Um, and then you can just put that to the side because we are going to use that one again. And the next um, shape or of the pens we're going to use is the little bit wider one. And I want to use this for the um, stems of the mushrooms. And so we're going to use Sahara Sand first and we're going to cover it and then we're going to highlight it with the crumb kit. So I'm going to bring that over here. Hopefully you can see me. Alright, so we're just going to color those in just to give them a base. And then we're going to highlight with the crumb kit. Now if you do by accident um, dump, dump your pen into the red, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to brush it off at the side again and then go back into your color. Because we don't want those, we want the browns mixing but we don't want the red mixing. Once you have that all colored in, and you want to leave a little bit of space here so the green can come up. So like I like I put here, I left the I want to use big long green kind of grass growing around it. Okay, so then that's, we're going to keep that to the side. So we're going to keep the Sahara sand out because we do need it for the little critter down here. So the next one is crumb cake. So the crumb cake, you're just going to go up the sides of your mushrooms. And they don't need too much, so they just need a little bit of a highlight. Watch when you're doing this that you don't get it too watery or it'll blend all over the place. So you want to kind of have a little bit of control over it. So I like the way that looks. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to leave that alone for a few minutes. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to go on to this little guy. Um, so I'm going to bring the Sahara sand back in and I'm just going to get rid of the crumb cake here. So what we're going to do with him is we're just going to color in his whole body. Well, actually, you're just going to color in his belly and you're going to color in his paws and his face. And 
he's such a cute little guy. Okay, so you're just going to color in his paws, in his belly, um, both all three of his paws that are showing there. And then you're just going to go in with his little ear and color that in. You're not going to make that darker. And then his other ears on this side. Just like that, just so it shows through. And then we're going to color the other in with the crumb cake. So let's get rid of that. So we can put that to this, put that crumb cake, to, um, sorry, sear sand away, and we're going to use the crumb cake. Alrighty, so what you're going to do is you're going to color in the back part of this little guy. Now I might need a little bit more, so what I can do, because he's not showing up as dark as I want him to, is just pinch that again. People have said that the, new, the old um, stamp pads that I'm using here just because I've had them for years, um, they don't, they pinch a little bit better when you're pinching to get the color on the, the tray part here, um, but I find both of them work the same. You just have to give the newer pads a little bit more strength. So you're just going to and don't worry if you go off a little bit because he has fur, right? So you want the fur to go off a little bit. And you're just going to highlight a little bit of his paw here just so you can see it. highlight there with the crumb cake and down the sides of his face where his fur sticks out. There we go. Perfect. So um, the next part is we're going to put the crumb cake away because we don't need that anymore. And the new and the next thing we're going to do, well, like I said, we're going to do the memento at the end. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the early espresso. And we're just going to, I'm going to get rid of the brown that was on there. I should use my other brush, but I'm going to use this brush right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to just going to take the thicker brush again, and you're just going to put a little bit of brown. So this is early espresso, and you're just going to put it into the grass a little bit, just to give it a little bit more of a definition. And I kind of did it where... Taking it where the stamp kind of sits. And just a little bit. You don't need a lot of it. Alrighty, so that looks good. And then I'm going to just take a little bit over here. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to put that away. So that we're, we're done with the early espresso. And then the last color is the shaded spruce. 
So like I said, this is a newer pad. So they still um, squeeze. You just have to give it a little bit more squeeze um, when you're getting the color on there. And I'm going to actually use my gigantic. So this brush is like a paint brush. I don't know if you can see it there. So it's like that. We're going to actually use this one for the green part. And this is what I used before. So here's hoping it works like I did before. way too much water in there. Alrighty, so what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're just going to, oh I can't see that, there we go, streak it down. So I kind of like this one because it does look, it kind of gives you the kind of way the grass would grow. So that looks good to me. Um, I'm going to just give a little bit more color in here, a little bit more um, darker. So I'm going to get rid, so I'm using the part of where there's not as much water, just to get a little bit more darker. And that, what I'm going to do at the end part here is take, take this, and what you're going to do is you're just going to Put it right under the little guy's where he's sitting or standing or sitting, crouching. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, you're just going to make a little bit of a grass area for him. Just like that. Okay. So we're not quite done yet. That's the basic basis of our card. We're going to put the um, shaded spruce away. And you're just going to take your brush and you're going to just get rid of the color for now. And then what you can do after is um, wash them out. You can use a little bit of soap don't dump the whole thing in soap but you can use a little bit and just to get rid of some of the color on it all right so we're going to put our three brushes away okay and then the last part is we're going to take our memento and we're going to take our oh gosh i'm going to give it the wrong name blender pen <laughs> i was going to call it something totally different and we're going to fill in the little dots. So if you can see on this one, I put little dots and I made his nose and his eyes darker. And then I put dots on the mushrooms there, okay? So we're just going to take, we're just going to dab a little bit there. That head weighs on it before, that's great. All right, so I'm not going to use that one because that was one that had white on it before, and that's not going to work. So let's try another one. There we go. Okay, you're just going to make little dots. It doesn't matter where the dots go. You can put them anywhere. Maybe a half a dot here. Two dots there. Okay. 
There we go. So that's our little dots. And then what we're going to do is you're going to be very, very careful. So if you can see the little guy, he's, his little nose and his eye, we're going to color it in, but you're not going to color over those little tiny white specks. So you're just going to be very, very careful because the white specks actually show um, like the lights hitting his eye. and hitting his nose. So you want to be as delicate as you can with coloring in his nose and his eye. Just to make it darker, not to make it pop out. I'm not sure why that's so fuzzy. So what happens on rainy days is that my sometimes my camera goes really fuzzy Here's a better picture. All right, so that's how it will look when it's done. So now we're just, I'm all done. So I'm just going to put the card together. So I'm going to get the memento off my blade and I'm going to clean my other um, stamp and blend out because what happened is I had white on there and so that made it look gray when I was coloring. <laughs> so. I gotta clean those off. So the next part is you're just going to take your oops, your card base. So it's just a very vanilla card base. And you're going to take um, shaded spruce, a piece of shaded spruce, and you're just going to glue with your stamp and seal. You're going to glue down this one on the Very Vanilla. Now I'm telling you to use Very Vanilla for this card because your watercolor paper is kind of a cream color. So instead of using white with it, I would use cream um, or Very Vanilla just because it matches a little bit better and it doesn't show such a difference in color. So then you're going to take your painted piece and you're going to put that down. And that's how quickly I did that card. That's not too bad. Like I said, watercolors and um, if you're coloring anything in it takes time. So you just got to take your time at it. So that's that. I'm now going to show you some of the new products. So let me clean off my area here and bring my box over closer so I can pick things out. Alrighty. So I'm just going to bring the camera up and then I'll show you upright instead of so. The first thing I Oh, there goes my face. There we go. Um, the first thing I bought was the um, Wonder of the Season Specialty Designer Series paper. And I thought, oh, this looks really pretty. And I, But you don't know it when you see it in the book because the pictures are small in the book. So I thought, well, I will buy it and see if I like it. And it turns out I love everything I bought. So nothing is disappointing to me. So the this um, paper has um, gold and black and red and um, what else does it have? That's pretty much the colors are in it. Um, but they're like a shiny like paper. So there's one piece. I don't even know what it says on it. Maybe a Christmas carol? Or maybe a story. Anyways, it's really pretty. Um, and it's kind of like newsprint. And I should show you the backs as I'm going. So the backs are black on them. And they're kind of like a newsprint. Which I like newsprint. I don't know why. Sometimes it's nice to have words on your paper. 
And then this one's kind of like, um, uh, I don't even know what, how you would call it. It's glimmery, but it's like a red color, but it's a really pretty red color. And that's the back of it. And there's two each, two pieces of each in the in the package, and then black writing. And there's that one. And they just got really cute images on them. And this one has a um, Santa's hot chocolate, which is super cute. You could probably just make that into a card all by itself with Santa's hot chocolate on it. Gives me some ideas. <laughs> I haven't started playing with these yet. Like I said, I just got these. So, and there's black writing. And that's all for that package. And the next package I'm going to show you. weird. Okay. <laughs> I must have hit my mouse. The next part is um, a package of paper called Trimming the Town Designer Series Paper. So this actually goes with a stamp set that has houses, um, Christmas houses. Um, so that has like different houses. Um, so I'm going to show you that. I really like this paper. For some reason, the colors in it's really pretty to me. Um, so there's a village and squigglies. There's snowflakes and houses. There's larger houses and blue lines. There's wreaths. And this one really caught my eye. Words. Just different languages with different words. And a season of cheer. Deck the hall. So they all have different words in different languages. But they all say they're having a merry little Christmas. They say a whole bunch of different Christmas sayings, which is super pretty. And the colors on them are just gorgeous. Um, there's little trees and polka dots, which I love polka dots. So that one's really pretty. And it's so cool to do polka dots for like a snow card. And little people and green lines. So there's so much things you can use with those two sets of paper. Alrighty, and I'm going to show you a few stamp sets I bought that don't have anything with them. So this is the Warm and Toasty stamp set. Sorry for the glare. And they have cute little uh, bunnies, um, deer, uh, bear little mice and I thought they were super cute and then this one is called don't stop believing so it has a little elf and santa and a little melting snowman which is super cute and I usually do snowmen every year so I really like um these this little elf but there is actually a gnome stamp set which is super cute too but I could not purchase everything I wish I could have purchased everything. Maybe I'll purchase those a little bit later on, but right now I couldn't purchase everything. Um, so the next set is called Snow Wonder, and it's got a snowman with some trees and a wreath and three really cute little sayings. So I love him. And super exciting, he came Oops, maybe I'll show him up like that. He came with some frame or some dies. So there's some snowflakes there, 
Um, there's the trees. There's uh, these things at the top that you can um, put the words into, um, like little frames. And I just love it. Um, and oh, and this one, sorry, this one here is for the wreath, which I didn't even notice was on there. So there's the wreath. I just love that stamp set. So cute. And the next one I'm going to show is called Little Treats. And I'm just going to take a drink before I start choking. Um, so Little Treats. So these have, so the reason I bought this, it's kind of funny. Um, I love Santa hats and I like putting Santa hats on everything else. So I bought the Santa hat so I could put, um, put the Santa hat on different stamps that I have. And I bought one that I particularly wanted it for, so I'm hoping to make that with, like, use that for it. But, <coughs> excuse me. But this also comes with the little treat box dies. So they, I don't know how to show that in a good way. Um, so there, it's like a little tiny box that you can put treats in and then you can put whatever you want on top so there's a ring there's the santa hat there's a present there's a spider there's um decorations and then i'll show you this one again so there's a spider uh a banner a spider <coughs> excuse me again um candy a hat, a ring, um, so you could probably make like little, um, sorry, treats for weddings for this, if you wanted to sell them to somebody who's having a wedding, it would be super cute, um, there's, uh, poinsettias, and then hanging decorations, so I can't wait to get into those to see how they turn out once you put little, little candy in them. And the last set is a suite, which is a whole bunch of products, one big bundle. And I could not not buy the suite. Um, it's just gorgeous. So first I'm going to show you the stamp set. So this is called Snowflake Wishes. And the sayings in it super cute. The snowflakes in it are super cute. And I usually do a snowflake class every year. Um, there's just touch tons of beautiful images in there and they're pretty big and the say some of the sayings say um snowflake wishes for a merry christmas thank you so much um happy hanukkah may your season sparkle for friendship is one of a kind in the coldest moments of the the year my heart is warm because you're near so it's super cute and i just love it so that's the first thing the second thing is it comes with framelits so so many snowflakes dies so this is one and it's like a frame and you know what this would be really good for is a shaker card so you put those in the front and then you would have the sh um, shaker card behind it i'm not sure if that's why they made it like that but that's what i think it would be awesome for and then these are the snowflake flakes there's um the two sorry i'm touching the wrong side there's uh, these two these two which are the inside of the snowflake and then these two which are the outline of the snowflake Alrighty, so the next part is the winter snow um, embossing folder. So they haven't had one of these in quite a number of years, probably since I first started. I think we had one when I first started, so probably about seven years ago. I'm now on my eighth year, um, and they haven't had one since, and I love it. And it's, I don't know if it shows very well on there, but it's just really, really pretty. And it's really tiny, so you can get uh, anything 
like you could do it in a gold or like any type of the pretty paper that we have just gorgeous and there's bling so the bling goes with the set too blue adhesive back gems and there are two different colors one's a darker color one's a lighter color and there's two types of paper that go with this set so there's the balmy blue glimmer paper and it's gorgeous anybody who likes balmy blue will love that paper and then the snowflake splendor designer series paper so i'm going to go through those individually because um when i first saw this paper i was like oh it's okay it's nice and when I saw it, it looks like watercolor. So the whole thing looks like watercolor paper. So there's that one. There's that one. That one has blue and purple, or blue and purples and greens in it. And this one. And then this one is really watercolory, which I really like. And then there's this one. And this is more like a greenish tone. And there's this one. And these are super little tiny stars, which are great for those houses. Um, so the stamps, the stamp set and the uh, framelits with the houses. Um, you could put this as a background for those houses, and that would look really pretty. And then there's this one that's super watercolory again. this one and I just love it and this one's another watercolor piece and that one and that one and I super I don't know why I love this one because I'm not a big purpley person, but this one kind of has like a mixture of blue and purple and it's just gorgeous. And I'm not a big purple lover. I'm a blue lover. So that'll be super cute to do as a purple card. Anyways, that is it. That's the end of my box. Oh, I forgot the ribbon. So there's a ribbon that goes with that too. So it's like a shiny ribbon and it's white. Sorry, that's called... I don't even know what it's called. Um, Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. So it's it's a white ribbon with um, a little bit of shininess to it. Uh, you probably can't see. Ribbon's kind of hard to see on video. Anyways, that's that whole pack. And I just love it. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, thanks for coming and watching my video. Um, and I will hopefully be back on Tuesday and Friday of next week. I don't have the cards made as of yet. Like I said, I've been not feeling the greatest this week. And um, hopefully I'm feeling much better next week. But thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.